to Know Your Bible, I'm Rev. Birgit Goodrow, and today we're going to study Exodus chapter 9, part 2. So last time we learned about the two plagues that came over the people of Egypt and Pharaoh. The one plague was over the animals, a pestilence, a disease that went over the animals. All types of animals were uh, sick and died from this pestilence. And the second one was very personal and painful. It was boil, something like chicken pops. It was also very painful. Let us read together verse 13 to 15. Then the Lord said to Moses, Rise early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh, and say to him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For at the time I will send all my plagues to your heart and on your servants and on your people, that you may know that there is none like me on all the earth. Now if I had stretched out my hand, struck you and your people with pestilence, then you would have been cut off from the earth. So today we're just going to look at one plague in this chapter. And it was hail and fire. And it was also destroying the animals and trees and the crops let us read together verse 16 to 18 but indeed for this purpose i have raised you up that i may show my power in you and that my name may be declared in all the earth as yet you exalt yourself against my people and that you will not let them go behold tomorrow about this time i will cause very heavy hail to rain down such as has not been in Egypt since its founding until now. So the word behold in the Bible means attention. And there's going to be a very powerful hail coming down over the land of Egypt. Let us continue reading verse 19 to 21. Therefore send now and gather your livestock and all that you have in the field. For the hail shall come down on every man and every animal which is found in the field and is not brought home, and they shall die. He who feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his livestock flee to the houses. But he who did not regard the word of the Lord left his servants and his livestock in the field. So they were told to bring the animals into shelters. And people heard about Moses, and some people are listening to what Moses said because of the past plagues that have happened. But some still follow Pharaoh and don't listen at all. So let us continue reading together, verse 22 to 26. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, on man, on beast, on every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched out his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail and fire darted to the ground, and the Lord rained hail on the land of Egypt. So there was hail and fire mingled with the hail, so very heavy that there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. And the hail struck throughout the whole land of Egypt all that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hail struck every herb of the field, broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. In our English Bible, it says that it's hail and thunder. But in the Hebrew Bible, it mentions the word kolot which means sounds. So there must have been some loud sounds coming with the hail and fire all at the same time. This plague was very unique. Something like this had never, never happened before. And the people of Egypt that did not hear the word of God, did not fear God or listen to Moses, they looked out in their field and see this hail and fire and this loud sound <laughs> are being destroyed. Their, their livestock is being destroyed. Trees are falling down. This must have been a very fearful time for them. 
Verse 27, And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron, and said to them, I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous, and my people, and I are wicked. What did we just read? That Pharaoh confesses sin? He says, I have sinned, and I am wicked? So he now recognizes God? And he is spiritually growing. We are going to continue reading verse 28 to 30. Entreat the Lord that there may be no more mighty thundering and hail, for it is enough. I will let you go, and you shall stay no longer. So Moses said to him, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I will spread out my hands to the Lord. The thunder will cease, and there will be no more hail that you may know that the earth is the Lord's. But as for you and your servants, I know that you will not yet fear the Lord. On top of it, he promised to send forth the children of Israel. So, Pharaoh did not really repent from his sin and his wickedness, and he really didn't change. I'm going to continue in the verse 31, 32. Now the flex and the barley were struck, for the barley was in the head and the flex was in the bud. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they are late crops. According to what we read, we can see that this all happened in the springtime because the late crops were not destroyed. And God was merciful and kept the future crops for the Egyptians. Here Moses is prophesying because he knows Pharaoh and the servants, and he knows that Pharaoh is going to keep a hard heart, no matter what he says. So now we're going to finish reading this chapter. So Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread out his hands to the Lord. Then the thunder and the hail ceased, and the rain was not poured on the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain, the hail, and the thunder had ceased, he sinned yet more, and he hardened his heart, he and his servants. So the heart of Pharaoh was hard, neither would he let the children of Israel go, as the Lord had spoken to Moses. So now picture this. After all the sounds, like thunder, who know, voices, who knows what kind of sounds they really were, and the hail and the fire that all came down, Pharaoh goes out and he sees dead people. He sees the livestock destroyed, laying around. He sees trees are down. He sees some of the crop destroyed. And then he goes out and goes to the land of Goshen, or he sends someone out there to check it out, and nothing happened to them. So this is a huge revelation for him. So again, Moses takes Pharaoh for his word and he confronts God. And Pharaoh, he thinks, okay, the worst is over. He thinks again, nothing else is going to happen. It can't get any worse. And he's trying to get his way again. And Pharaoh, he felt strong and hard-hearted again after the plague was over and nothing has changed. So Pharaoh doesn't want to be transformed by God. He is in bondage with his own desire. Here we learn what a hard heart is. When someone is so stubborn, no matter if you show black and white and everyone knows that it is God, but still have the blinders on. And Moses interceding for Pharaoh over and over again. And no matter how much he intercedes for him, he doesn't change. And some people are like that. They just will not change. And we cannot force anything over anyone. It all has to come from themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and please join me again 
the next time as we study Exodus chapter 10.